Now to Yosemite National Park and spectacular views over the park. Livecopter 3 flying over Yosemite Valley today and you can see Half Dome right here. Really gorgeous blue conditions, but still a lot of snow. See all those big white patches, even a little bit of white patch on top of Half Dome. As we zoom out here in these exclusive pictures from Livecopter 3, there is still a lot of snow that will be melting eventually. Yeah, it's like almost a perfect square on top of Half Dome there. And the waterfalls in the park are just absolutely stunning. This is Ribbon Falls on the west side of El Capitan flowing nice and strong. A different waterfall here. This is Yosemite Falls. Just a beautiful view and I don't know about you, but I prefer it from this vantage point as opposed to the hike. There's also a trail <laughs> that leads to the falls and uh, I mean it's fun. Just don't do it with complaining children and just a beautiful <laughs> sight to see it this from this way. I just we are so lucky to be able to show you these pictures. Nice little green patches there as well, but you can see a lot of the water is moving really, really fast, especially when we're talking about the Merced River. You know, so many officials are closely monitoring the Merced River levels. Additional closers are not planned for this weekend, but Rangers say this could all change if that river rises more than what's forecast. Yeah, Lower and North Pines campgrounds and housekeeping camp will stay closed through Sunday. Rangers do say do not go into the river. Rivers are close to all boating, rafting and tubing. Yosemite is expected to be very busy this weekend. You can expect delays at entrance stations and there may be difficult finding parking too. Plan to arrive early to avoid delays. KCR3's Brian Hickey went to Yosemite earlier today in Live Copter 3 and he has these views from above the park. Good afternoon, everyone from Live Copter 3. I'm Brian Hickey, and we are up over Yosemite National Park right now and over the Yosemite Valley, checking in on the record snowpack that still exists above the park and the water that is coming with it. So we'll take you outside right now and first start out with a little bit of sightseeing here with the iconic half dome there. As you can see, a beautiful half dome this morning. A lot of the snow is gone from the cap of it, uh, but still plenty up there and around it feeding those waterfalls. And off to the right there and down a little bit, you'll see Nevada Falls, which is continuing to flow this morning. We we are in the afternoon. We have seen some folks up there hiking along the waterfall. You want to be very careful though with the water as you can see very fast raging currents down there, but so beautiful to witness that sort of power up close with the bridge that goes right over the river there feeding into Nevada and then eventually Vernal Falls and the mist trail. But again, the granite very wet, very slippery and the park has urged anyone that's coming out here to be stay away well away from the water. If you slip, there's a little chance that you're going to stop yourself before going into the river. Now we look down into the Yosemite Valley and we're looking down onto the uh, 120 area and, uh, or the north and south side area where the uh, road loops around the park and that is where some of the concern has been that that road could be inundated with water but right now that road remains open as you can see a number of cars parked along there taking in the beauty and the majesty of the Yosemite Valley but the uh, there is some concern that the uh, bridge could flood and that the south side and north side roads could be inundated where they come together at the western edge of the park but so far that has not happened with the water just below that moderate flood stage so the park remains open into the weekend right now 120 is still closed due to heavy storm damage over the winter so 140 will bring you into the park but the lower pines north pines and housekeeping camps are closed due to some minor flooding there and then uh Again, the south side and north side roads are open, but they have said to expect hours of gridlock in the park as everyone comes in to see the waterfalls. But just know this, there is plenty of snow that is gonna feed these waterfalls for months ahead. So this is not your only opportunity to take in the beauty of the park. In Live Copper 3, over Yosemite National Park, I'm Brian Hickey. As Brian just showed us, we have got time to check out the mm -hmm. majesty of Yosemite. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Mark Finer for a closer look at the Merced River. The, those rivers will still be impressive in July and August. Wow. Where, you know, a lot of years they, they taper and some of them even go away completely, but most of the waterfalls will be going well into summer. I want to talk about the level of the Merced River. You just saw the aerials from Live Copter 3, and this is the bridge called Swing, Swinging Bridge, and Yosemite Falls is up in here. Well, what I'm going to pay attention to is the meadow that's on the other side here of Swinging Bridge. That's where the level of the, of the river is now getting up to. Here's where the river has been going above flood stage, that red line, and forecast to stay well above flood stage through the weekend and even into next week. That's Wednesday there at the end. Now, when we saw the river get to a similar level a couple of weeks ago, they had a, a partial closure of the park. Well, they're not doing that this time, but keep in mind with the river this high, you'll continue 
continue to see many of the meadows uh, just totally underwater. So while the roads are open, the meadows will likely be closed. So keep that in mind if you're heading that way this weekend. Back to you. Sounds good, Mark. Thank you. And Live Copter 3 was over Yosemite National Park. You saw Brian up there for more than an hour. You can check out all the spectacular sites covered on the tour on our KCRA 3 app.